have no control who lives, who dies, who tells your story. I'll give him this. Hampton's financial system is a work of genius. I couldn't undo it if I tried, and I tried. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? He took our country from bankruptcy to prosperity. I hate to admit it, but he doesn't get enough credit for all the credit he gave us. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Every other founding father's story gets told. Every other founding father gets to grow old. And when you're gone, who remembers your name? Who keeps your flame? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Eliza! Eliza! back in the narrative. Eliza! Eliza. some time on tears. I live another 50 years. It's not enough. Eliza! Eliza. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writings. You really do write like you're running out of time. I'm not relying on Angelica. When she's alive, we tell your story. She is buried in Trinity Church near you. When I needed her most, she was right on time. And I'm still not through. I ask myself, what would you do if you had more time?
dip and swing, dip, dip and swing her back, flashing with silver, follow the walkers' flight, dip, dip and swing. Shovels, friends, it's all gonna change real soon. Cold fever soon, cold fever soon. Start singing a different tune. Cold fever soon, cold fever soon. Abandoned ships will fill the bay. They'll bob and float around. You can keep the crew. When they hear the news that gold's been found Eggs will cost three dollars each You'll live in just a shack It's too much for some But most who are come are going back So grab your picks and shovels, friends It's all gonna change real soon Gold fever soon Gold fever soon Start singing a different tune Travelers, what brings you around Northern California? Hello, my name's Charles Ben, my friend Mr. Scott. Do we hear someone saying about gold? Oh boy, you got a bad case of gold fever. I hate to break it to you, but there ain't no gold to Northern California. Not yet, anyway. Not yet? What do you mean? Well, Charles, haven't you looked at the calendar? The new year of 1848 has just barely begun. Yeah, everything's the way it should be this time of the century. Nothing around miles except set us for them on a few ranchos. Ranchos? I love that salad dressing. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, you mean rancheritos. They're the best for parties. What in tarnation are you talking about? We got no salad dressing, no ranch doritos, no parties, nothing exciting until January 24th. January 24th? What's so special about that day? What, Dagum? Who are you folks? You mean to tell me you don't know about Sutter's Mill? What's going to happen on January 24th? How should we know? We're just travelers. We well, you better get on traveling up to Sutter's Mill to find out. Captain John Sutter will give you a job there. Well, this didn't come from me, but if I were you, I would stay with that James Marshall guy. He's about to give everyone a true case of gold fever that will change the history of this place forever. What a beautiful day. My gracious, time goes by so slow here at the sawmill, I forgot what day it is. Watch, January 24th, 1848. Whoa, that was a fast answer. Do you have a crystal ball or something? Uh, no, I just have a feeling today's going to be um, uh, uh, a great day. I got a feeling that today's going to be a great day. 
to write this article because all the men have rushed to the hills. Grab your shovels, boys. There's gold, gold, gold. It's everywhere here in California. There's more gold in California than all the people in California can take out in 50 years. James H. Gleason of the Plymouth Rock News, February 1st, 1849. A very rich gold mine has been lately discovered and everybody in the country is rapidly hasting towards it. About a million dollars has already been extracted from the mine. Journalist Edward Gold Buffin here. The men in California, the men in California, are earning a hundred dollars of gold a day. How delighted I was at my first dig of soil when I discerned about twenty golden particles sparkling in the sun's rays. John Soul of the Indiana Express. It's clear that all can find the fortune in California. Don't wait a moment longer and grow up with the country. Hurry, everyone, go west. Go, go west. west. wagon train to move in, but we'll never get to California before the winter storms hit. Are you sure we can make it through the Sierra Mountains safely? We have children in our company, you know. Don't worry, dear. We're taking a new better road through that Hastings cutoff. We'll be there in no time. Wait, Mama, wait. Someone has taken my doll. I can't go on a long trek without her. Don't worry, little sis. I've got your doll right here. Now let's get going. I can't wait to see her claim a new territory. We'll be rich as kings. We'll be rich as kings.
Now that's what I call roughing it. I've seen the elephant now. Look, we've made it to San Francisco Bay. That took forever. We took so long that California became a state on September 9th, 2017. Forget about calling us the 40 dieters. Oh man, the only reason I came to this territory was so that I wouldn't have to pay any state taxes. Don't worry, taxes won't come around for another 150 years. We could leave that for our great-great-grandchildren to sort out. Well, let's not forget why we're here. I think I could smell the gold from here. We better go get some shovels and pans. I'm starting to get a good case of gold fever inside my bones. Hold it, bells. It looks like some more foreign knives just made us here to San Francisco. So you have a few pennies from your journey, huh? Well, it's going to cost you a little bit more than that. That's right. Ain't nothing cheap in California now. Once gold was found, prices have skyrocketed. Just one little egg for your breakfast will cost you $3. $3? That's crazy! That's outrageous! That's right. So you better get yourself up, up in those mountains to find yourself some gold. I can't wait to see their faces after they turned over 50 piles of dirt and still haven't seen a single nugget of gold. So many piles! Sometimes I think I find gold, but it's really just another rock. Boy, were we foolish, thinking that these hills were covered in gold. We're surely fooled. That gold's nearly impossible to find. But I still keep thinking I'm going to find some soon. Sometimes I dream of gold in my sleep. Come on, let's keep on digging. Surely something will come up. You got a bad case of gold fever when you keep telling yourself you're just one pan away. I'm just one pan away. Pan away. From striking pay dirt. Just one pan away from being rich. There's icy waters up to my knees. Can't feel my thoughts and my toes might freeze. Still, I got that gold fever itch. Gold fever itch. I'm just one pan away. Pan away. From El Dorado. Just one pan to hit a mother load. The air's 110 degrees. My head's on fire and there ain't no breeze. Still, I got that gold. Itch. Cause I've got a fortune right here in my hands. I've got a fortune in this mud and sand. I've got a fortune waiting for me here. Maybe not this time, but my time is near. One more scoop, 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 one more scoop. One more scoop. I'm just one pan away, pan away from El Dorado. Just one pan to hit the mother load. The air's 110 degrees, my head's on fire and there ain't no breeze. Still, I got that gold fever itch, gold fever itch. I got that gold fever itch, gold fever itch. Shh. Gold! Gold! I found gold! Let me see that. There ain't nothing but fools, gold. Ugh, that's, I guess that's all I'm surrounded by now. Just a bunch of fools. Calm down, this ain't our fault. Stop being so cranky. How can we help ourselves? It's 105 degrees out here. My back is cooling, and my pants have been getting holding them from all this digging. Take your pants over to Levi Ann Strauss. They come in real quick for you. Fine, I think I will. Good gracious, no need to be so feisty. We all need to be a little more kind. I guess we all been away from home a little too long. Come to think of it, I haven't seen a woman or child in the whole two years I've been in California. If I don't know any better, I'd say I smell fresh baked bread being baked right out of the hills right now. Look, by golly, it's a woman, and she's baking bread. Hello, ladies. Hi there, uh, can we help you? Might I know your names? Lizanna Stanley Wilson and my sister Lizzie. Pleased to make your acquaintance. 
Sweet Louisiana and Lizzie, I'll pay you five dollars. Don't make that ten dollars have one piece of your home cooked bread. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you said you'd pay ten dollars to have a small piece of bread. He did. Well, I'll pay ten dollars each for a wonderful bread, Louisiana. We haven't had a good home cooking in years. You see, Levi and Charles, my pants keep on ripping every time I kneel on the rocks. I'll be darned. You're right. I can't mend these pants. You're going to need a whole new kind of fabric. Here's some new pants I made out of my canvas tent. It'll last you a lifetime. Yippee! Look here, fellas. I got some new pants that last me forever. Wow! They're from? They're from Levi and Strauss. Wow, wow we, we just, just made, made a fortune, fortune selling pants. pants. And we just made a fortune of selling bread. That's a smart way to get rich around here. I've been making my own gold dust, just as selling all these pans and shovels. Same here. Come get all the ointment you need. Well, this lotion will make gold dust stick to your skin. Only $25 for a shovel. Get them while you can. This ointment is only $40 a bottle. Wow, a real deal out here in the West. Wow, a real deal out here in the West. became rich by finding rivers of gold. In fact, only a few people became rich by finding gold. People soon discovered that the riches of the West could be found in many other ways, like in the fruitfulness of the forests and the waving plains. And the wide open spaces with room enough to stir the family and grow. That, my friends, is the real gold fever of California. It's in the mountains, the rivers, the plains, the sea, and in the people. It's all gold! Thank you. 